The Raspberry Pi 3 includes built-in Bluetooth. We can use Bluetooth for a whole host of things, including sending files, um, streaming music, stuff like that. But we can also do a point-to-point -point network. To do that, I'm going to use Raspbian, and I'm also going to use a Mac. This can also be done on Windows, but the process is slightly different. So first thing we need to do is connect the Raspberry Pi to the internet. That's quite important to start off with because we need to install a couple of software modules. So in this case I'm going to plug in an Ethernet cable to my Raspberry Pi. Just so I can install the required modules. Next, fire up a terminal and put in sudo apt get update just so we can make sure we've got the most up-to-date software lists. Once that's finished, you're going to need to install Bluetooth, Blueman, and Blues using sudo apt get install Bluetooth, Blueman, and Blues. Once that's done, you should see a new Bluetooth icon appear in the top right of the screen. Click it, and then click on Make Discoverable. This only lasts about 60 seconds, so you've got to be quick when you switch back over to your Mac. I'm in the Bluetooth section of System Preferences. So the Raspberry Pi has appeared, and I'm going to click Pair. It'll pop up, if we just switch back over to the Raspberry Pi, it'll pop up in the top right-hand side. I'm going to click Confirm, and we're now paired. Next, we need to set up internet sharing. If you're happy enough with just point-to-point -point network between the two devices, then you can ignore this step. So if we switch back to the Mac, and we click on Back, and click on Sharing, Click on Internet Sharing and make sure Bluetooth PAN is enabled. Then select where you would like to share your internet connection from. In my case, I have an Ethernet cable going in the back of my screen here, so I'm going to use Display Ethernet. Then check the box to start it up. If we, we can now switch back to the Bluetooth section. And on the Raspberry Pi, if we go up into Menu, Preferences, and Bluetooth Manager, We can see there's my Mac there set up, and if we right click, set up, make sure Grip Network is selected, and click Next, it'll now go configure it all automatically. There we go, and we should now also have an IP address, there we go, 192.168.2.20, and you could use this from the Mac to um, use SSH, use VNC, um, FTP, stuff like that. Now it's worth keeping in mind, this is Bluetooth, so the file transfer speed isn't going to be amazing. If you have big files to transfer, or lots of data you need sending back and forth, you'd be better using an Ethernet connection. But for small things, and uh, low bandwidth stuff like SSH, this is perfectly fine. I'm going to go and unplug my Ethernet cable, it's in the back of my Raspberry Pi. Um, and I'm going to go back over to this terminal here, and I'm going to do an ifconfig. There we go, I've got the IP address up here, and then I'm going to just ping Google, just to prove this is working. And that's it. That's how you can share your internet connection from your Mac over to your Raspberry Pi over Bluetooth.